Hi, I'm Jenny Rushmore of Cashmeret, and I'm going to be teaching you today how to sew a covered button placket. The example I'm using is from the Cashmeret Vernon shirt, which is a darted button down shirt specifically designed for curves in sizes 0 to 32 and cup sizes C to H. It's got lots of great features, but one of my favorite is the covered button placket on view B. You might be intimidated by button plackets. There is a lot of folding, but it actually isn't that difficult. And today I'm going to show you how. So you're going to start with your placket piece and in the Vernon, it has an A, B, C and D written on it. And if you're making a different shirt and you have a similar piece, you can just write the letters on. And then what I have done is cut my button placket with the wrong side up. And then I've labeled the A, B, C and D on both sides. So on the other side, it goes D, C, B, A, because this is band D on both sides. The first thing you do is put a strip of interfacing down B and down D. And on the one on D, it's aligned with the line between C and D, which means it doesn't go all the way to the edge. There's a seam allowance on the edge here. Now we are going to start the folding process. So the first thing you do is fold it right sides together so that A and B are shown up. Easy. So we folded that. So now we're going to open it up and we want to sort of keep the pressed folds in here. Now what we're going to do is fold the seam allowance on the edge of A over to the wrong side. So in the Vernon shirt, you're going to be folding this over by half an inch. I am using a scale model here. <laughs> So it's slightly less than half an inch, but the principle is exactly the same. And then you are going to trim that seam allowance back on your proper shirt in half. So basically you're going to take it down to an eighth of an inch. I'm not going to do it on this example because I don't need to, but that's what you're going to do. Okay. So now you're going to refold the band along the line between B and C. And now we are going to fold A and B together. So we're going to fold A and flip it over B just like that. And we're going to press it. So the wrong side of A has gone to the wrong side of B. And you are left with D and A facing upwards. Now we're going to turn it over. So C and D are up. And now we're going to fold D over C along the line between them. So we're going to fold D over and as you do that, D will extend beyond C because it has a seam allowance on it. This may all seem confusing, but all we are doing is creating an accordion, like a W. So now we have D facing up. So if I open it up, you can see that it goes D, C, B, A, and then the seam allowance of A is underneath. So. Now we have this, we are ready to attach it to our shirt. So it attaches to the right side of the shirt as worn. You will have already sewn the hem and sewn a dart. I am not just for the purposes of demonstration. So here's my button placket. So I'm going to flip it over so that D is against the shirt and A is facing up. I'm going to align it with the center front. And then I'm going to sew it down this seam allowance. So down the extra bit that's sticking out of D. So I'm going to do that. I'll be back in a second. So I went to the sewing machine and sewed that seam. The next thing I'm going to do is flip the button packet away from the shirt so that D is facing up and I'm going to turn it to the wrong side and I'm going to press the seam allowance of the shirt towards the button band. So we're pressing the whole button band away from the shirt back over here. And now you just want to, you can do a little bit of adjusting if you need to, to make sure that all the layers are perfectly on top of each other. And the D you can see has gotten a little bit uh, stuck in the seam there. It's okay. I'll rip it out later. So now we are ready to go onto the buttons. So to do that, what we do is reopen this up so that D, C and B are showing. A is on the other side here, D, C and B. And what we're going to do is mark and sew our buttonholes on B here. So the buttonholes are going to go through B and A. And because we trimmed the seam allowance when we did A, they're not going to hit that seam allowance. So 
I am now going to go away and sew those buttonholes. So I just sewed these buttonholes. So the next step is to secure these into little pockets. You'll see what I mean in a second. So what we do is flip panel B over flat panel C. And now you're seeing the back of the buttonholes on A. And now we are going to sew bar tacks between each buttonhole. The bar tacks are going to only go through this set of layers, not through D. Halfway between a buttonhole at the edge, about half an inch. So I'm just marking on my shirt where they will be. So halfway between each buttonhole at the edge here, not going on to D. And you're going to sew a bar tack about two millimeter by 0 0.1 millimeter zigzag between all of them, but you're not going to touch panel D. I'll be back in a second with those. So I have now sewn the bar tacks between each different buttonhole. So final step, we're going to fold A over D. So making a sandwich of everything that leads C to be facing up. And then I'm just going to sew across the bottom of the button band in line with the hem that you've already sewn. So I'm going to do that. So I've sewn across the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is turn it right sides out. So I'm going to turn it over, press out the corner. I'm doing this with thread snips. You could do it with something a little bit less dangerous. And you turn it all the right way out and press it down. So A is what's visible on the inside. And D is what is visible on the outside. So the final step is to top stitch down the inside of this button packet. So I'm going to do that and then you will see the final thing. And voila, here we are, the final button placket. So you open it up and you can see the buttonholes in there. They're all neatly enclosed. Um, the bar tacks mean that it won't splay open when you're wearing it because who wants that? And you now have a very lovely covered button placket.